Hi, in this guide we're going to add some pagination and rows uh, to this table so that we can select how many rows it shows at a time and then be able to go between the content using the pa pa pagination. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to add this prefab which is called pages and rows this one here so I'm just going to clone it and I get that into my project here and then let's add it into the node graph so we'll just put it underneath the table here like so and if we scroll all the way down we can see it here so let's give it a little bit of margin maybe 16 pixels like that and then, <clears throat> then we need to hook this up to the query records here so that we can control which items are being shown. And to do that, we need to enable a few things on the query records. We want to use this limit here and we want to be able to get, get the uh, total count as well. So I'll enable that as well. And then from the pages and rows, we're going to get how many rows we're going to show on each page and which page uh, we're actually on. So let's from pages and rows make the connections like this. We're going to say the limit goes to limit, skip goes to skip, and when this is changed, that's when we want to uh, make the query records fetch new data. So we want changed to do. And then you can see here the question mark that indicates that we don't know exactly how many items there are, but since we enabled get the total count here, uh, we can actually make a connection from the query records into the um, pages and rows like this. And now if we go down here, we can see that we have a total of 30. So one thing that's going to happen now when I reload this, you can see that the table is completely empty. And the reason is previously the query records would implicitly get data from the back end. But now that we have this connection from changed into do, it means that the query records will only execute when it gets a signal into the do action. And we want it to execute as soon as this is visible. So from the group node here, let's make a connection from did mount to do. And now when I reload, you can see we see our data and now we can say maybe we want to show 10 per page and now we see 10 here and we can go to the next 10 we can change it back to 5 and we can go back and forth like this so yeah that's how you add a pages and rows control to be able to more easily look at the data that you're displaying in your table